you don't want to look like you're checking your email on stage. And if you're using tracks and using a computer on stage, one of the most important things you can do to not look like you're checking your email on stage is use a MIDI controller. And using a MIDI controller with the Play Audio One U could not be any easier. We've talked about this in a previous video, but for example, I can take my MIDI controller, I can connect it to the USB host port uh, on the front panel of the Play Audio One U, uh, plug in my MIDI controller, and then it automatically splits MIDI signal from my controller to both of my computers. So for example, I've already mapped play and stop, but I can press play and then show you on my A computer, it's playing, my B computer, it's playing. Let's press stop on our controller here and I'll show you over on my B computer, we stopped, on my A computer, we stopped as well. So the Play Audio One U makes it insanely simple to set up and use our MIDI controller. If you wanna see how I did that, then I'll link to a video in the description of this uh, that shows you how to set that up. But the problem is I connected my MIDI controller using this USB cable to my Play Audio One U. What happens if my MIDI controller needs to be further away from my Play Audio One U than it is? Now, the answer to this is not to buy a really, really long USB cable because it will eventually stop working if it doesn't work initially. Uh, the answer is not to buy a USB to Ethernet extender because that will eventually stop working. But the answer to do this is to purchase another fantastic piece of gear for my connectivity called the Mio XM. Now I've got my Mio XM set up here. This one is beat up because this has been out on the road quite often uh, and I'm using my nice looking one. So I apologize for it showing a little age here, but I'm gonna show you how to set up our Mio XM so that we can actually take our MIDI controller and have this wherever we want it to be as far away as possible and simply connect an ethernet cable from our Mio XM to our Play Audio One U. Let's walk through every piece of gear we need to make this happen. So first off, obviously I have my Play Audio One U connected to both my A and B computer using my USB-C cable, uh, and I have my MIDI controller here. Now, the way I would suggest setting this up is I would suggest getting a network switch. And what I have networked together at this point is my computer, so my A computer, which is right here. I've got this ethernet cable going to this, and then this ethernet cable is going into the RTP MIDI port on the back of my Play Audio One U, right? So that's directly on the back here, just slightly out of frame. Now let's patch in our Mio XM. I've got a little longer uh, uh, ethernet cable here, but one side of this is going to go into my network switch, okay, just like that. And then the other side of this cable is going to go into the ethernet connection on my Mio XM. So let's actually pull this up so you can see this and we'll connect our ethernet cable just like that, okay? So uh, you could certainly directly connect an ethernet cable from your Mio XM to the Play Audio One U. But again, I like the setup of adding the switch in because um, it allows me to see my Mio XM in Oracle for X series, the software I'll show you in just a moment. Um, it allows me to network multiple computers, multiple things together. So I think having a network switch in your playback rig is incredibly helpful to help you expand things. So now let's kind of work order of operations, work our way through um, to getting this rig completely set up. And here's the beautiful thing about this. You may see all this and think, well, well I'm not really an IT person. I'm not great with tech. If you can copy and paste, you can set this up. That's how dead simple this is. Now, the final piece of this, let's take our MIDI controller. It is not connected to the USB host port, but what I'm gonna do is connect this to my Mio XM. So if we flip our Mio XM around, on the back, we have USB host ports, okay? We're gonna plug that in here. And then I know my desk is, is not that far away, but I'm gonna, for dramatic effect, move my MIDI controller and Mio XM just slightly out of frame over here. So you can see we've got that our network switch and a lot of ethernet cables on a small desk and our Play Audio One U. Now let's jump over to our playback uh, computer. I have Oracle for X series, the free control software downloaded and installed. I'll link that in the description so you can download it. Again, I'll show you how dead simple this is to do. So let's go into Oracle for X series here. Let's start with our Mio XM. I'm gonna to go to USB host port reservation because I'm using a USB device and I wanna make sure that I've reserved the host port for my MIDI controller. And in this case, uh, I have um, plugged into the back and you can see I've set this to be host one, okay? Now let's go to our MIDI routing. We just wanna double check that host one is going to go out of RTP one on our Mio XM. So we'll click here, host one. 
Uh, and you can see by default, it, I, I remember setting this up now, by default it goes to RTP five. So to send it to RTP one, I just simply click RTP one here, okay? And I could actually go ahead and kill this RTP five connection if I want. So what this means practically is whatever MIDI comes into host one is gonna go out of RTP one on the Mio XM. So that's what we set up there. So now let's go back out of this. Uh, let's go into our RTP network MIDI page here. Again, if you can copy and paste, you can make this happen. Let's go to RTP1. This is the name of our device. And what I'm gonna do is just simply copy this, okay? Uh, this is why, again, I like having this on the same computer. I'm gonna simply copy this. Then we're gonna go directly over to our Play Audio 1U. Okay, so now let's go to RTP Network MIDI. Uh, we've got a bunch of different MIDI ports here, but what I'm gonna do is go to RTP5, and I'll explain why in just a moment. I'm gonna change this to Initiator. And I'm gonna paste the name, the name of that, of that Mio in and hit save. Now you can see as soon as I pasted it, it automatically reconnected. So as soon as these devices uh, are power cycled, connected to the same network, they'll automatically find each other. Uh, now, if we talk about our signal path, let's just look through this and I'll open uh, our MIDI settings here. Then we'll talk about how to get this into Ableton and then we're good and we're there. Uh, first, we plugged our, um, our MIDI controller into our USB host connection. We assigned it to host one. Then we made sure in MIDI routing that we are routing from host one to RTP one, which we are, okay? And then we said, let's go in and copy RTP one's name, which we did. And then we went over to our Play Audio one U and we said, let's go to RTP five, set this to initiator, paste, hit save, and we've now connected. So host one on our Mio XM is now being sent to RTP five on our Play Audio one U. So now let's go into Ableton Live. This is our A computer. We'll go into our preferences, go to MIDI. And uh, we wanna make sure Play Audio 1U, we have enabled RTP5 remote, okay? Uh, now I'm gonna go into my audio settings here and let's uh, select our Play Audio 1U. Now let's go over to our B machine. We're gonna do the same exact thing. Go to MIDI preferences, uh, RTP5, host one, um, or remote, excuse me, is enabled for RTP5, there we go. Go to audio, let's choose play audio 1U. And now what we've done is we've basically created a path again that goes from our Oakboard Slide Duo to our Mio XM, Mio XM to our play audio 1U, play audio 1U to our A computer and our B computer simultaneously. So the beauty of this now is I'm gonna reach over to my MIDI controller, I'll double click stop. I'm gonna press play, I'll show you the A computer, I'll show you the B computer. You can see transports playing for both of those. Go back to uh, my overhead here, hit stop show you the A computer stop and the B computer stop. So the beauty of this setup is, yes, I, I know all this is sitting on my desk. Uh, this Ethernet cable, I think it's 15 feet, but I could take this Mio XM, this MIDI controller and move this however many feet away that I want to. Uh, and all of this signal is gonna go over this Ethernet cable and uh, connect directly to my Play Audio 1U, which then is gonna be split to my A computer and my B computer. So that's a look at how not to just, not only not look like you're checking your email on Sage, but to also remotely control your playback rig from your MIDI controller, no matter how far away it is, using a Mio XM and a Play Audio 1U. Now, if you wanna dive deeper, if there's something I did not answer here, check the description uh, for links to other videos in this series, as well as how to reach out to our support team and check out our support center with a lot of articles that will help you get set up a lot faster. Most of all though, thanks so much for watching this video and we hope to see you on the next one. Take care everybody, bye.